I bet you are thinking, what salon did she go to? Or maybe you're thinking, I did a lot of work to achieve this style here. Hmm. Or maybe just the wig came just like this with no work needed and I just applied it. I don't know. You guys will just have to watch and find out. So I finally got my hands on a new clear lace. This lace is supposed to melt with your skin, give you a clean hairline that's naturally pre-plucked, deep parting. So let's investigate a little bit. So this is what the wig looks like. All I've done is washed it. I have not done anything to the hairline. I have not bleached the knots. I have not curled the hair. Everything is straight out the box, okay? so. We're going to just kind of evaluate this wig a little bit and I'm going to tell you guys if this wig is truly undetectable and if the clear lace is really clear lace. <laughs> Now, this wig is one of those wigs that come already done. The first thing I did notice is that this wig comes with bleached knots. You get lots of parting. And look at those knots, you guys. Like, where are the knots? <laughs> There's no knots here. The wig is bleached to perfection, okay? Like, I did not need to do any bleaching to this wig. I mean, look at the hairline. The hairline is pre-plucked and it actually looks very, very clean. It doesn't look like I need to go in and do anything to it. Well, this wig passed the clean hairline test for me. Just looking at how natural this hairline looked without being glued down, I was very sure I could wear it with or without glue and it could lay flat. But instead, I decided to grab my Even Wonder Lace Spawn Spray and make this a weekend style. Just hoping that at the end, the result of this lace would truly be clear. After I finished gluing down this wig, I felt confident that I would get a good hold this weekend. Now this moment after cutting the lace will be the moment of truth. Will this lace be clear after I finish the install? Up to this point, everything was looking good. The hair, the natural hairline, the invisible knots. Parting looks like scalp. It comes with bleach knots and we have the fake scalp material. Uh-oh, I see white. Is that the lace? Wait, nope, it's from the Lace Bond Spray. Whew, I'm glad this can be fixed. But first, let me make sure the lace is down completely. Usually I cut my lace before I glue down. If you cut your lace after, it's possible to have some lace pieces that are lifted. So I retouched that hairline with more wig bond.
Remember, the wig bond flakes if tension is applied. So let's clean this up because we want to see if this lace is actually clear. And we can't see that when we have a white residue line around our head. I remember that when I was in Atlanta, my True Match Lace Concealer helped with this. So I grabbed my True Match Lace Concealer in tan and lightly sprayed it around the hairline, small sections at a time. I also blow dried the hairline while doing this to avoid lifting. And voila, the problem is solved. No flaking, no dusty powder from makeup, just a clean hairline. So now that we know this wig passes the clean hairline and clear lace test, let's talk about the hair. I absolutely love virgin hair, and this hair is definitely that, but I know that sometimes virgin hair has dry ends, so I decided to eliminate them from this wig so I could get a more healthy hair look. I separated the bottom half of the hair from the top, and I used scissors to cut away about two inches of the hair, getting rid of any shabby or uneven ends. That's better. I repeated the same steps throughout the hair. To give the hair bounce and body, I decided to razor cut the top half and add layers. This is actually my favorite thing to do to my wigs nowadays. Now I know I have a middle parting right now, but I'll probably switch it. <laughs> Yep, we switched it to the side part. So I'm just going to go ahead and add some finishing touches to this wig and then I'm gonna tell you my final thoughts on everything. All right, so I wanna talk about the clear lace. I've received so many questions about the clear lace versus the Swiss lace. And so I just wanna kinda, of, you know, give my opinions. This turned out really pretty. I absolutely love, love, love this wig so very much. Like, it was so effortless to apply. 
Um, so let me just tell you guys now so that you won't be a little confused. So I don't know if many of you know this, Swiss lace is like the best lace that you can use for lace wigs, whether it's the HD Swiss lace or just the regular Swiss lace. I do feel like the clear lace is just the HD lace um, with a new name. But Swiss lace matches so many complexions. Sometimes you have to tint it, but I just feel like a lot of times it works for so many complexions and it's just the best quality lace out there. So this wig from Pretty Lux Hair, um, they are using the true clear lace. The hairline, I did absolutely nothing to. I completely just put this wig on after I washed it. I did wash the hair um, because I wanted to make sure that when I did the curls and everything that the hair was clean. You know, I just wanted to make sure it was clean, you know? <laughs> I absolutely love the clear lace. Like it was very undetectable. It's definitely undetectable in sunlight. I'm gonna insert a clip right here. No. Yeah, I'm gonna insert a clip right here of me in regular lighting so you guys can see for yourselves. Um, the only reason I added that tint around the hairline is because when I used the razor to cut the lace, it created a white residue from the adhesive spray. And that's why I usually cut the lace before I apply my wig. However, I do like the way the lace applies if you cut it after. The flakes went away, like they're not here now, so there's no complaints there. I will be sure to put this wig down below in the description box for you guys with a discount. I know you guys, some of you don't like the baby hairs. Um, that's why I did the majority of the video without baby hair so you can see how the hairline will look if you didn't apply any. But for me, I feel like, and you know, my facial shape, I had to add some curls, I had to add some baby hair. Some, um, but yeah, you can do whatever you want with it, girl. It's your prerogative. I will be sure to put this wig in the description box, like I said. Be sure to thumbs up the video, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram, you guys. And yeah, I appreciate that. And I will see you all back for another video. Mwah.